Don't forget that the first four months of this outbreak, nobody knew it was Ebola. Now we have a question from Michael Seltzer on Facebook. The precautions needed to prevent Ebola spread are not secret. Why were they not followed in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia? It's a good question. The reason why the precautions at the, at least at the very beginning of the outbreak were not followed is because of a lack of knowledge, a lack of literacy. Many of the communications that were being made in the early days were via, you know, pamphlets. Um, then they started being a lot more active on the radio, which was a much better way of reaching out to the communities. And there was also a lack of trust between um, people, for example, in Guinea, um, there's a great divide between people in the forest region where the outbreak started and the city. Particularly in Guinea, I mean, it's certainly true in, Guinea, in Sierra Leone and Liberia as well, yeah. but we found it particularly in Guinea. There's an assumption in those villages that if the government says something, they're lying. And so uh, if the Ministry of Health, as they were in this case, are saying you must not try to bury your dead, if you fall sick you must go to this hospital where people generally die, they don't come out. If the government is saying you should do those things, then you don't do them. And also, I mean, it, it's true, as, as you ask in your question, that um, it's pretty well known how Ebola spreads and how to prevent the spread of it. But don't forget that the first four months of this outbreak, nobody knew it was Ebola. So there were um, already hundreds of cases, yeah, people yeah. dying. And, um, and, so, and Ebola is quite strange in that the body is that it's most infectious at the point of death and just, just, just after death. And there aren't many diseases which um, spread after someone has died. Later in, in the outbreak, Sierra Leone was able to set up these teams and the law is that you, anybody who dies, whether it's Ebola or not, needs to be buried safely. That means people wearing um, protective gear come collect the body and bury the body according to Ebola burials. It doesn't matter how you've died. And we followed a team and we went to a hospital and a man had just died. And the family, who seemed you know, quite uh, middle class, became very angry and upset by the idea that their loved one had to be buried that way. They had no proof at that point whether that man had died of Ebola or not, but it was irrelevant. Uh, quite a lot has been made of tr West African traditional funerals um, being particularly uh, bad in terms of spreading uh, the disease. And there's some truth in that, but I think it's overstated. Actually, the body is very infectious at the point of death and any type of funeral is a, is a transmission risk.